The rare chaos across France, the worst riots Paris has seen in decades started with an online petition posted back in May. People angered by government plans to raise fuel taxes to fight pollution called to lower prices instead. The petition eventually drew hundreds of thousands of supporters, snowballing into a full-fledged protest movement against government policies. Its members call themselves the Yellow Vests, referring to safety vests mandatory in all French cars. A date was set for a first street protest November 17th. That day, some 300,000 people across the country turned out to man roadblocks. Sporadic demonstrations continued, leading up to another big rally on Saturday, November 24th. But protests turned violent when thousands left their approved demonstration point to vandalize shops on the Champs-Élysées and burn cars. The extent of the discontent caught the government off guard, and chaos worsened the following weekend. For the first time since the 1968 student protests, hundreds set cars and buildings on fire, hurling rocks at police, looting businesses. The nation discovered on television the iconic Arc de Triomphe covered with insulting graffiti, calling for President Emmanuel Macron's resignation. Up until that point, the government had refused to budge on its tax plans. And for a short while, President Macron, away in Argentina, tried to keep that line. I will always respect protests. But I will never accept violence. Once back in Paris, President Macron gathered key ministers, fearing upcoming protests could get out of control. He was booed when visiting targeted sites, like outside burned-down police headquarters in central France. Then, the government took a first step back, suspending the tax hike for six months. That announcement angered protesters even more. And as several sectors, farmers, truck drivers and students threatened to join the movement, the government scrapped the tax hike entirely for 2019. But many say authorities reacted too late. The protest has now widened beyond demands over fuel and has turned into widespread anger against policies many believe favor the rich.